I really feel like my position as a general manager is to take care of the employees and as you mentioned develop, develop them and their skills and help them to grow as individuals. Obviously I have to balance that with making sure we deliver great customer service and also that we're taking care of our uh, fiscal responsibility for the owners. So, um, but my, my greatest joy really is developing people, working with them, greeting our team every day and just making the most of, of what we can uh, while we wait to maybe make some big improvements to the property eventually. Because, you know, in, ho in hospitality, it's so fun when you have a project, when you renovate rooms or you renovate a property, and, and we hope to do that um, soon. Um, but until then, we really are focusing on service and on standards and making sure we deliver the best service that we can. What is the kind of experience that you want people to I guess my here? kind of casual approach to it is we're not fancy, but we're friendly. <laughs> um, if anytime you can provide personal service to a guest and, and make all the difference to their, their experience on Saipan and the resort, then hopefully they're going to go back and talk about it with their family, their friends, and maybe they're going to come back as repeat visitors. So just that personal touch I think is so important. Several of the major hotels, including Fiesta, are nearing the end of their leases, and this limits the amount of new investment that owners, at least for now, are willing to put into these properties. And Herring says this can at times be difficult to explain to guests. Locally, people know, you know, I think our, our clientele from Guam uh, that comes over frequently, they understand the situation. They understand that we're hoping to negotiate soon and, and get a new lease in place and, and pull the trigger and invest a lot of money into this property, as I know Hyatt's planning to do. Um, but in the interim, it's, I think it's difficult to educate tourists that you're facing this challenge. So for us, um, we just really focus on let's keep it, everything as clean as possible, right? As long as it's clean, it might look a little old, it might be a little dated, but it's clean, it's a pleasant, friendly experience, and hopefully, you know, they enjoy that. What are some of the things that you'd like to do if you get a new lease? What are some of the updates you'd like to do there? Um, some of the big plans that, we, that we've been working on for a little while um, are renovating all the rooms. You know, 416 rooms that haven't been renovated in several years, um, that will be a big undertaking. But I think even prior to that, the lobby especially, that's kind of your first impression. You come in through the lobby, you see the front desk. So for me, the priority would be to renovate the whole lobby first. You get that nice first impression and then phase in the room renovation. And then following that, we would hope to do some things on the grounds, maybe, maybe some new water features and just you know, nicer amenities for guests and families. The beach here, one thing I've noticed since you've been here is the beach has really improved. And you go down to the beach, we had a huge typhoon after the typhoon. Within a few weeks, the beach was sort of back to normal and looking looking great. Thank Tell you. me about some of the beach features that, that you've put in. I, I, you know, the chairs are much closer to the water. There's, they're set up, it's clean. Yeah, you know, after both typhoons, at Sotolor, I was at Kanoa. I was here obviously for YouTube, but um, afterwards you just have to start cleaning right away, right? You just want to make things normal and look great as quickly as possible to bring the tourists back. But on our beach, we're so fortunate. It's, of course, it's public land, but we're fortunate to be able to put up the umbrellas, the chairs. Um, I think the addition of Sea Touch and bringing Sea Touch back to the community, I, I love having that feature. Um, tourists and residents alike really enjoy that experience. But also the flexibility to have the big events on the beach is, is fantastic.